All right, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, Connor on Chain. So we got a lot of different stuff going on in the market today. We got KRC20s. They just had their relaunch. You know, they launched months ago, had some issues, and they are back again with a full out mainnet launch. And it's actually looking very bullish just from a, a Casper perspective. Um, and then we also got Fractal Bitcoin that is launched now as well. Um, and just in, in between both ecosystems, there is a ton of stuff going on. So I do want to cover a few things. So, you know, if you guys are not familiar with um, KRC20s, uh, let's, why don't we just type in KRC20 on Twitter? You know, because we do, have, we have seen multiple, or not multiple, multi-millions of dollars I'm sorry, I can't even talk today. 3.4 million transactions in the five hours since KRC20 by Casplex. So that's actually very bullish, in my opinion, for the Caspa ecosystem. You know, I mean, it is kind of true. This, I mean, Caspa is yet another UTXO based proof of work blockchain, just like Bitcoin is. You know, there aren't too many like it. Um, you know, and having this much this many transactions you know in a couple hours i mean it also signifies there's just a ton of hype right now on mainnet for caspa but to me it's actually really interesting because you know i feel like a lot of people especially in the bitcoin DeFi space are not paying attention to this because to me it seems like we may have the chance with krc20s here to find the ordi of brc20s you know so if you guys are not familiar with brc20s last year early last year they were basically the first implementation of any sort of tokens or you know fungibility on top of bitcoin itself to me krc20s resemble more so um you know brc20s than anything uh, we'll get into fractal and stuff in a little bit but I think that KRC20s could have that potential. I, again, not right now in the current moment, but I think as time goes on, as the infrastructure really starts developing more on the Caspa mainnet here, um, we could see a lot of you know really good coins take off. Not even just meme coins, because I know there are a lot of meme coins on Caspa already minting, which I'll cover in a minute. But even some utility projects, you know, I, I've, I was going to cover a bunch in this video, but um, I personally do not think the time to be jumping into a ton of KRC20s is now. You know, you can take a stab, throw some money into a few of them. I would not risk, you know, a lot at all. And you don't even need to risk a lot of money on a lot of these, especially if they end up being a top project in a few months. You legitimately can spend five to ten, twenty, thirty dollars max, you know, minting some of these, and you can end up pulling literal two hundred to two hundred x's, a thousand x's left and right. But again, only on the top ones that end up becoming those top projects, which right now nobody knows, you know. So you're basically spraying and praying at different coins at the current moment because it's literally the first day of this ecosystem actually being out and kind of thriving so um a great cat scan this website is called cat scan with a k um cat scan dot nacho i'm going to show you guys the website so i don't know why i always cover my um my web links let's go to nacho so you guys can pull this up if you go to nacho this, in my opinion, is still one of the probably one of the only KRC twenties to be paying attention to. You know, if you want to go really degen, there are you know two, three, four utility projects that I've found, ton of different meme coins. But again, it is highly speculative, and I'm going to cover a major fact that you all need to pay attention to before you even think about minting anything in one minute. Um, so that, okay, they actually do not have the website here. I thought I thought it was right on there. Oh, it is. I'm sorry, catscan.xyz. So you can go to that catscan.xyz, and then this platform actually has all the new tokens minted or actually created on Caspa mainnet. 
but again there i mean there really is not a crazy amount of you know buying pressure i mean there is based on the transactions but you know when you do it off when you're looking at so many different tokens it's hard to know you know what's getting attention what's not especially when there's minimal infrastructure which with something like this but the main thing I want people to look at again before you even decide to mint anything is look at this right here we got pre mints and a fair mint so the difference between that is so when you have a ticker if you were going to create your own like meme coin your own ticker an option is do you want to hold any of the supply for yourself and if you hit something like this you make ticker XXXX right if you want if, let's say you put pre mined to 10% what that means is that you are going to now have 10% basically to yourself and so again if you're one person creating a meme coin that's like saying so when your token launches on mainnet you hold 10% of that supply right off the bat before it even starts minting you know that's kind of what it means with a pre mine and then or pre mint. But when you see pre mines with random coins, something like this, look at this. They get fifty percent of the supplies pre minted. So when you're dealing with a meme coin, you know, again, I would not go off a meme coin based off just a ticker. I would look into them on Twitter, make sure it seems like a good project. But when you have a project like K Panda here with sixty percent of a pre mine and the team is not transparent with what they're going to be doing with those tokens that is a very very bearish scenario for any meme coin because what that means and how i personally go about looking at it before it even mint anything is this is saying okay so if the team behind this project again i don't know if this is an actual meme coin or not i'm just giving you an example if k panda is a meme coin and they have now minted 60% of supply for themselves, whether it's a team of 50 people, if it's one person, if they do not have a set of tokenomics publicly and they're not transparent about where this 60% of the supply is, I have a mental rule and the framework is if there's a heavy pre-mine and they're not transparent about it, more than likely this 60% of supply is probably going to be dumped on your head or anyone's head when they go and mint this project or after it's fully minted and it gets listed on you know new infrastructure so you can actually sell and swap that means most of the supply is probably going to just you know dump the entire project so very bearish for me when i see heavy pre-mint or pre-mined projects and there you can see most of these projects are legitimately pre-mined for me, I like to stick to fair mints because also what a fair mint means is that there's no pre mint. So even the, the creator of the token, the deployer, the dev, whatever you want to call it, you know, that means that if he even wants allocation into his own token, he has to buy that himself on the open market. Or in this case, he's got to mint it himself, right? Or whatever. If the team wants to get an allocation, they have to mint 1% of the supply themselves, you know. It's just a way more, again, fair way of launching a token when it comes to something like KRC20s, because these are not the same way that, you know, token on Dex Screener or Solana or Ethereum work. You know, these do not have liquidity pools right now. So, you know, when you mint a token, again, there's no infrastructure, which I'm going to get into again in one minute. When you mint a token here, instantly, though, what you also got to keep in mind, again, Keep in mind the pre-mint, but you also have to understand that the KRC20 ecosystem, there is close to zero infrastructure actually built yet. Again, which is another reason why you should not feel FOMO to just ape into 50 different, you know, random tickers here. There's no infrastructure built yet <clears throat> outside of, you know, being able to mint and deploy a token, you know, in Castware wallet, which is the wallet that you know, you can use if you want to take a stab at some of these um, But outside of that You know, this is just some things I wanted to cover With KRC 20s like I said, just be very cautious going forward But um, 
you know as far as for the ecosystem though again when you're going to be minting these tokens keep in mind in your wallet again there are not platforms out right now because it's so new of an ecosystem there are not even platforms in which you can trade and swap your tokens let alone sell them so if you're minting them keep in mind that you're going to be holding these until these platforms become readily available to use by the public which in my opinion again is not a bad thing because in my opinion honestly if you can find the right coins and you can mint them especially before any sort of infrastructure again that's it's literally spraying and praying if you're going to do that but th sometimes those are where some of the largest gains come from i'd say for tokens like these if you can mint a bunch and just wait it out and then if you get lucky enough where the token you minted or the meme you minted or the utility project you minted ends up really becoming something in the next three to five months you know once there's more infrastructure you know that's where a massive massive gains can come from with some of these but again i think it's incredibly high risk you know unless you're going to be you know you really want to spend a lot of money on these you know be go ahead i would not recommend it at all but i think with something like this i think even just waiting for better infrastructure is probably going to be the best bet like even just a way to be able to swap and sell just so you can jump into different coins at any time because right now you know if a coin mints out and let's say you find it really bullish but you can't even buy it right you can't buy it anywhere because it's already minted out I personally think waiting for that infrastructure to come out is going to be key before we actually see any of these really run. And we also don't see any of these meme coins, you know, we don't see them on any major platforms yet. I think this one here already has an exchange listing on a very small exchange, which is kind of cool, but same thing. I don't know anything about this token, literal 80% pre-mine. And I don't know if they got tokenomics. So to me, looking at it, very skeptical unless I actually looked into it but you know that's the thing that you got to be watching out for with KRC20 is just very uh very very new ecosystem but you know I'd say wait for this ecosystem to develop more for more platforms to come in excuse me and just be on alert for you know real real infrastructure being built you know something that I I like to look at just very simply put you know it's just a lot what are like what are the main functions that most blockchains need anything as simple as projects where you can swap you need a swap protocol right a buy and sell platform like a trading platform you know swaps and trading platform a stable coin protocol it's every every chain needs stable coins as well things like that are very bullish um, and I mean, there's a lot more, even borrowing lending, if it gets to that point of infrastructure, you know, a lot of simple things you can call that KRC 20 DeFi or whatever you want to say, you know, that's going to be the next wave of infrastructure for this eco again, because it's so new. So again, that's kind of what I wanted to cover with this. Keep in mind again, the pre mine and the fact that you will not be able to sell your tokens yet until a platform comes out in which you're actually able to list it somewhere like that so that is all i wanted to cover with krc 20s i mean it seems like it's been a great launch so far and like i said i think nacho definitely has some potential it seems pretty good um but outside of that i'm not going to cover too much else with this so we also got fractal Bitcoin. I guess Fractal Bitcoin is now fully live on block 2100. That's not even 2100. That's 21,000. Yo. Uh, my bad. My brain is not working today. But we've also seen Fractal Bitcoin, the FB token. So it is currently listed on CoinX. It is it has been pumping a lot. You know, it's actually it's kind of dead a little bit of the complete opposite of what I thought it would do but you know what I didn't take into account was you know the literal use of the FB token in the ecosystem because you're gonna be using it for everything you know 
And because the circulating supply of the fractal token is so tiny, that is why the volatility is going to be like insane. It's going to be very good for right now to the upside. There's not going to be crazy sell pressure. Um, but FB, like I said, it's, I guess it hit $38, which is pretty good. It's done almost a two, it's on a two X, three X, um, coin X. I think just in the last like couple days, it's up about 200%. I think it was at 12 to $15 the other day. So now it's at 27. So it did have a dump actually huge dump today. But as you can see, you know, it's literally $12, 12, 24, 36 would be around two or three X 38 came back down. But again, the thing with this, you know, it's, it's hard to know what's actually going to happen. Right. But again, because of how small the circulating supply is, I mean, now this actually got even smaller than, I don't know, that doesn't make any sense, but because this was at like one point something percent, I think a few days ago. But I think because the use is very prominent right now, the hype is very prominent at some point, you know, yes, this chart is going to go up, maybe goes up only for a couple more days, if that. But I think after that, once the hype kind of dies out for fractal, the hype kind of dies out, you know, minting a lot of stuff, which again, I, you know, if, if Bitcoin decides to pump rip over the next week, you know, maybe even in the next two to three weeks, you know, we may see this just go down. And then when Bitcoin rips, anything and everything fractal just pumps like crazy. But we've seen cat 20 get a lot of attention as well. So same thing. I'm just going to type in cat 20 cover it, some things with it. It's personally, you know, I've seen a lot of talk about it. Don't know too much still going forward on it, but it was a fairly fair launch on um, fractal. I guess it's like a, another protocol on top of it as far as for tokens, but they also do have some of the first tokens that are out on top of fractal, which is pretty cool to see. But I mean, you can kind of just see because what's cool about Fractal 2 is they literally allow like BRC 20s, different types of tokens on top of the platform. Um, but in my opinion, it's pretty cool. I think it's, you know, for a few days, I think it still might be pretty solid. But, you know, for the most part, I actually have been kind of staying out of this. Again, not for any major, you know, bullish or bearish reason. I just think in any sort of market conditions like this, you know, I just don't think anything full out Bitcoin DeFi or even KRC 20 is like is going to have, you know, 50 to 100 X pumps. You know, maybe we have somewhat small pumps in the short term, but unless Bitcoin is going to be mooning and continuing up, making literal new highs, at least for right now, I don't think anything, any sort of pumps in this market just do not last. May, again, because of the sentiment. If the sentiment was like, if we just had a huge run, like it was February or March in 2024, you know, months ago, and Fractal just launched right now, yes, we would probably see everything doing 30x, 100x, 200x right now across the board, you know, very easily. But again, because of the uh, market conditions, I'm still watching from the sidelines for the most part. Um, but outside of that, guys, that's you know that's mainly what I'm watching for right now. Again, I think the market's still very much so in limbo. I don't think anything is fully gonna last as far as major pumps right now, unless again we see alts really have another major run, and I'm talking about majors run very hard or move into new highs so like i said just continuously watching the market lots of different stuff going on i think trump donald trump's literal coin is launching tomorrow as well you know a bunch of different launches that you know i'm going to be watching with everyone in discord tons of different ai coins um you know and just consistently gem hunting because i still believe guys that you know, more so aiming for a longer term perspective, this is the time to be scaling into high conviction bets. When the market is down, when everything is very low, 
when you feel like you're too nervous to be jumping in because you think it's going to go lower and lower, which again is always a possibility, but it's better to be jumping into coins if you believe we're going to be going up in the next six months now to be buying them now at these lows than to be FOMOing back in when Bitcoin's back up at 70k, 75k, you know, because at that point, the actual gains would have came from you buying the lows in the uncertainty up until when Bitcoin hits 72k, that would be a massive gain for you. But then once you break into all time highs, that's going to be where all those extra profits actually come from. You know, sometimes it's very difficult, you know, to wrap your mind around it or just want to invest, especially when things have been down only for so long. But uh, I'm definitely going to be adding to a lot of conviction coins coming up very soon. <clears throat> you know, I continue to just add to certain stuff here and there. But outside of that, guys, you know, that's mainly what I'm focusing on right now. Just be very cautious jumping into anything, um, anything KRC20, anything fractal. But, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, I'm, I'm still excited no matter what. Uh, just seeing these ecosystems, you know, really develop. It's just it's very cool to see, you know. So outside of that, I appreciate you guys watching. And I will probably be dropping another video on, you know, more, more so maybe just more longer term bets that I think have a lot of potential. You know, I still want to continue to drop videos on new launches and stuff because, you know, my, I feel like my bread and butter in this entire market is covering new launches, mainly on Ethereum, specifically like utility projects. But um, again, I'm not trying to cover these, you know, just to make anyone try and FOMO in because new launches on ETH are incredibly risky. You know, it's very hard to actually consistently, you know, hit multiple X's you know, 5Xs, 10X, 20Xs consistently just off new launches. A lot of them end up not, not doing anything. They end up going up, come all the way back down, like in the span of a day or two. They're very high risk. But to me, it's probably the most fun part of, you know, investing in crypto. Is, you know, it's like, it's like you're literally finding that next newly launched utility gem, like the first couple days it's out, and then you ride that time span out over the span of a few days a few weeks you know I, to me it's just it's super fun so outside of that i'm kind of rambling now <laughs> i'm gonna cut this video here i appreciate you guys watching and just be on the lookout for those other videos coming within the next day couple days so that's it and i will see you guys in the next video thanks